please be upstanding for Mr. Marty Morrissey. <laughs> God. Marty. Man. Thank you, Johnny. We nearly lost you. I know. The truth of the matter is, I don't know if, I don't know if we're allowed to tell this, but this man was offered the Late Late Show tonight and he said, no, I'm coming to Galway. <laughs> Man's a legend. The people love you. How, how would you compare the Late Late Show with the two Johnnies and the people of Galway, for God's sake? I, I absolutely love that entrance. We've had some entrances, but Marty, that's definitely the best. This, this crowd, as does every crowd around the country, adore you. They love you. I want to thank um, you. Marty. Dear, dear Johnny, dear Johnny, <laughs> I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> well, Marty. What I'm, would you advise? I've never heard a program or a show where you actually give advice. Yeah. You but, two giving advice, like. The, the problem is, you know, we give advice, but we hope to fucking God nobody takes that advice. <laughs> so take it with a pinch of salt. But Marty... Marty the, like you said, the people here loved you. And this whole thing, the legend that has built up around you, the Marty Party. Woo! Well, what is it? Where did it come from? Actually, I had nothing to do with it, to be <laughs> honest. Um, Oliver Callan and Maria Rosenstock started in their, in their programs. And they started imitating me with my beautiful pink shirt <laughs> and my beautiful black jacket and my shiny white teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, Oliver Callan would sign off. You know, we sign off all our packages for news. Marty Morris, the RT News, Cook Park, whatever it is. such a professional. Yeah, but he'd say, he'd say, you know, my name is Marty and I love to party. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were doing Dancing with the Stars, Last year, Anna Geary decided to put a WhatsApp group together, and I wasn't at the rehearsal at the time, and she called it the Marty Party, and it kind of took a life of its own. Basically, it's exactly what the two Johnnies are doing, having crack. There you go. Singing, dancing, drinking, enjoying life, because, and swear to God, you're dead long enough and you're not coming back, so you may as well make the most of it. Yes. Would you all love to go to a Marty Party? Yeah. There you go. Um, Marty, you must be the most selfied man in Ireland. I, I, like, it's, it's crazy to see. Like, we, we've, we've done the Marty Squad a couple of times. We've popped over. And they're literally, it's like dawn of the day. They're clambering around the roadcaster to get at this man. Um, and I think we put together a little, a little package of, of, of some of your selfies. Uh, <laughs> Think? Yeah, the funny thing. Funny thing some about that, Some guys Marty. have it and some guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wake up out of my dream. <laughs> well, just the only thing about that video, Marty, I didn't see any other fellas in the fall. <laughs> no fellas allowed in selfies. I don't care if they're Tipperary hurlers or Galway footballers, no fellas. Uh. Babes only. <laughs> I'm Ty right, lads, in fairness. <laughs> Marty, how did you become like such a sex icon of Ireland? Like, how, how did... Well, I'm beginning to enjoy this interview now because you're showing a lot of respect. <laughs> 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 the answer is, I haven't a clue, to be honest with you. Because uh, with a face like this, it's remarkable that I got a job in television, to be honest with you. But they were obviously stuck at the time Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. And he, he's, on, he's, on, he's only buttering you up now. <laughs> You're falling for it. <laughs> but Marty, like... Uh, my number is 087. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're asking me? No, she has uh, her own selfie with you, Marty. That's how popular you are. She already has one. Oh, she wants another one, does she? Hey, hey. 
My number is 08724. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Marty. Love it. But Love it. even like at the ploughing and all, do you need security when you're going around for selfies? Yeah, it, uh, but sure, it, look, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, joking aside, I'm, I'm really lucky and cherish how lucky I've been. Uh, and, but I, I kind of like to do my job, and I, I've often said I take it seriously. Yeah. But I don't take myself seriously, uh, and I never have. And I enjoy the crack, and I enjoy the banter, and if you give a bit of slagging, you've got to be able to take it as well. Yeah. And basically, I suppose the ploughing is where you meet all the people that are viewers of RTE, yeah. they come from the country like myself, uh, and indeed they're from urban Ireland as well. But it is, uh, the ploughing I particularly enjoy, because you do meet everybody. Yeah. And you have some very funny moments, you know, that, that happens. Yeah. The, the, one of the ones was, I was parked, well not parked, <laughs> I was stopped at a red light in O'Connell Street, and uh, it was about to turn green, and I was admiring this girl crossing the road. <laughs> And lo and behold, she saw me. <laughs> and I saw her. And I said, she won't, she wouldn't have a clue who I am. Next thing she came across. And sure as God, bad luck, the red light turned to green as she was asking me for a photograph. So I, I, they started hooting behind me, so I had to move and I said, I'm really sorry. But she started running beside me. <laughs> <laughs> and she took the photograph as we were driving along. It was, that was one of the funny ones, anyway. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. That's, um, we were talking, talking about your career, like, and how, uh, how long you've been doing it. I think we're, we have a photo of your first ever, was this one of the first games you ever, you ever commentated on? <laughs> or go back. No, go back. That's later. Yeah. That one there, yeah. That's yeah. How did this happen? You're in the back of a Toyota truck. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, actually about the second match I did. The first one was the back of a tractor and trailer. Wow. Because my own club... Uh, in West Clare is Kilmurray or Bricken. Um, sorry, did somebody say up Milltown? <laughs> <laughs> is is, is Marty Morrissey going to have to choke a bitch? Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> Do not interrupt this man, okay? Yeah. To tell you the background, my club is Kilmurray or Bricken, and we're playing Milltown Malbay in the county final on Sunday. Oh. They're our great neighbours, uh, and uh, we love them dearly, except for an hour when we're playing football, yeah. and then it's all out war. But anyway, as it so happened, we're playing, my club were playing Milltown in under-21 final many years ago, and uh, the postman in Quilty uh, decided he was going to do a video. This really sounds like the Dark Ages, because this was a VHS, <laughs> and we were going down to, the, the match was on in Jumbeg, and he wanted somebody to do the commentary. I said, not a hope. So I mentioned Patrick Murray, Jim McCarthy, all my friends. None of them would do it. So anyway, at half 11, the Saturday night, I, uh, I relented and I went down and we did it. And my crowd are so mad on football and so passionate that at the time in Dunbeg, there was only an embankment, if you know what I mean, like sideways. Mm. So they drove a tractor and trailer from my parish, about seven, eight miles away, down to Dunbeg, parked it on the side of the, uh, on the embankment, put up a couple of sheets of galvanized with plastic, and that was when I did my first match. So that was, it, and like, when I did it, I thought it was crap, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> because you think, you want to be me hall of hair, you want to be me hall of mer hertig, and uh, we then, uh, Pascal Brooks was the cameraman, he was starting off with me in Ennis, and uh, we came back to Quilty on Monday night, at least he did, and we charged 50 pence, I think, to go in to watch the, the county final. And it, like it was that time, that was kind of, we were kind of sexy. We were kind of modern. Uh, but <laughs> still, um, are, still are, Marty. Thank still you, are. Still got us. You took the bait there, Johnny. <laughs> well, uh, fairness. You but it, it was that kind of a start. Very, very basic. But uh, my second game then was a Munster club hurling final between Six Mile Bridge and Patrick's Well. How did that happen? Somebody heard that we were doing a video. And they rang Pascal and we went down to Thurlis. So the second game was in Simple Stadium. And I said, wow. wow. Okay, I'm happy now. Yeah. I'm in Thurlis. This is the. So I kind of so fell in love with it. Was that kind of, yeah, when you fell in love with it and got the bug for commentating, broadcasting? Yeah, I mean, we tried. Uh, uh, Mary Kate Galvin, uh, lovely good to her, kept encouraging me. She was the postman's wife. And she said, You should apply to RT, apply to RT. And I said, There's no way will they take on a gobshite from West Clare to do a commentary. Because that was all for Dublin people as I saw it. 
Is so there's plenty of gobshites in there, Marty. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about that. You're not, so not, anyway. Not you, Mara. <laughs> Sorry, Mara. I'll get him back later. Gone. Don't you worry. Anyway, I applied, and they, for three years, they said, no, no, no. And then finally, I, I was lucky to get a... They gave me an opportunity, and I've been there since. And some of the mad things that you said, like to stick out, like the Holy Moses and these expressions, like how do you come up with them? Are you at home kind of walking around in front of the mirror going like, you know, Holy Jesus, no, not quite right. Like how does it, where does it? Well, you're right about looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> now, Johnny. <laughs> no, I'm, that's not true. Um, I said that in 2013, Claire were playing Cork in the All-Ireland Final and I was on the radio with Donald O'Cusick. Come on, the banner. <laughs> And um, we were doing okay. This was under David Fitzgerald, and we were winning. And then Cork started coming back. And then Patrick Horgan scored a fantastic point. And I was, my heart was sinking. John Logue was delighted because I thought that was the winner. Now, Claire had played Leash in the quarterfinal. And every player scored, including the goalkeeper, except one player, the right corner back, called Donal O'Donovan from Clonlara. So the ball was pucked out, quick trip trip, and it ended up with Donald Donovan at the far side in front of the Cusick stand. And as a Clareman, you'd say, sweet Jesus, of all the people in Clare, why him? <laughs> but I couldn't say that on air. <laughs> and I said, Donald Donovan, he's going to go for it. It's going over the bar. Now you feel like saying holy something else, like a four-letter <laughs> word. And I said, no, I better not say that. And just Moses came in out of nowhere. That's and I never, I never said it before, and I've never said it since, to be honest with you. <laughs> you the another, another, one, another one we loved was there won't be a cow milked for a week. was another one of your fans. And, that, and that's used everywhere now. It is. And uh, again, I can't... I, that was something you'd say at home. Yeah. When, when I'm from the village of Quilty, and if we won something, whatever it be, they'd say... Jesus, there won't be a cow milk in Quilty tonight. <laughs> that was just a saying. Yeah. I didn't make it up. It was kind of somebody else made it. And when Claire, I remember sitting on the wall as a young fellow when Kerry beat us in 1979. <laughs> Kerry scored nine goals and 21 points oh, to Claire's 1-9. Now, the only bit I can tell you about that 1-9, because this was Mikey Sheehy, Jack O'Shea, we have the record that year of scoring the most against Kerry wow. in their journey to the All-Ireland Final. But we didn't know that that day in Milton Malbay that they were <laughs> going to do what they did. So anyway, here I was. I had only just started in RT and I packed Spillane beside me. And as a Clare man, you'd love to sew it into Spillane every chance you get. <laughs> yes, as a human. Because yes. you'd remember 921 to 19. And so we were winning. And these were lads I played with. Uh, Tom Morrissey was a cousin of mine. Horst Maloney, midfield with him. These were all local heroes. And lo and behold, Noel Roach. And lo and behold, we're, we're, we beat them. And I said, because it came into me, there won't be a cow milk in Clare for at least a week. And for the next 25 years, <laughs> Johnny Gall could win the Junior B hurling championship in Ulster, and you'll meet them. Jesus, Marty, there won't be a cow milk in Belly Buffet tonight. <laughs> so well, it stuck with me. But like w when Monaghan win, it's like, oh, there won't be any diesel washed for a week. Yes. Yeah, Correct. Like Correct. <laughs> Correct. But, um, okay. a, li a little bit before the commentary career, Marty, in the broadcasting, you played yourself. You had a distinguished playing career, which was something we didn't actually know about. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Marty Morrissey played County Minor. <laughs> there, it was obviously a bad year. Um, <laughs> No, and, and you nearly went senior. Yeah, I, well, I, was, I, was, I played three years for minors and two years for under-21s, but we were beaten in the first round, so that was <laughs> the end of it. Okay. Um, and I was sub-goalkeeper one year uh, for the Clare Seniors. Uh, and that, but then I discovered women and uh, <laughs> partying and... But you know, I've heard this story before. <laughs> do you know what I... Yeah. <laughs> Johnny's smacking myself up a yeah. lot in common. <laughs> he likes to party, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you went back playing recently. 
Um, I think we have a photo of you playing. But there was no need to bring that up now. Yeah. Yeah. This is, what, what game is this, Marty? Yeah, if we kick it on one, Jack. This is the All-Ireland Masters Champions there we go. 2019. Here you are in action. You, you won an All-Ireland with Claire. You are holding hands with an All-Ireland medalist. Oh my God, what a hero. A friend of mine uh, rang me and said, would you ever play with the Masters? And I said, are you, you must be joking. And he said, no, come on, come on for the crack. So our first game was that I played on, I missed the Kildare game, it was Malone Dunbeg. We played Galway. And Galway came out looking very, very sharp, very sexy, maroon everywhere. Mm. <laughs> and we had blue socks, yellow socks, green socks, red socks. So anyway, we did okay. And with two minutes to go, I came on. And uh, the Galway cornerback was a very nice fella because he said, any chance of two tickets to the Late Late Show? <laughs> and I said, I don't have them right now. So anyway, that was all right. The lads, I missed a couple of games, to be honest, because of work. But we got to the All-Ireland final, and they asked me below. We were playing against Kildare and Kilbride. And by the way, I didn't touch the ball against Galway. <laughs> so uh, came, we got to the All-Ireland final, and they asked me, though, would I do a commentary for the DVD? We were gone from VHS now to DVD. So down I went to Kilbride, and they said, would you ever talk up? Come on for the crack with the lads. So I put on my Claire gear, and I did the commentary along the sideline. This is only about a month ago. And Michael Constein, the manager, and we shouted up, come on, come on, come in. We were winning by a couple of points. So they brought me on, and so we had great crack. And once again, I didn't touch the ball. <laughs> so I've won an All-Ireland medal. Uh, we're having a big party at Christmas time at home, and not one touch of the football did I get. <laughs> and it was very funny, because Michael Ledan was playing corner forward, and the ball came up towards my area. And Michael got, Michael got fouled. And the lads along the sideline, I could hear him clearly. Put it down, Mick. Give it to Marty. Give it to Marty. <laughs> and next thing, Mick couldn't hear. Mick tried to quick free. And all you hear, ah, Jesus, Mick. <laughs> you know, would you not give it to Marty? Yeah, so anyway, never got a touch. Anyway. They could have given you the crown and glory. Marty, before we finish, I must ask you about Dancing with the Stars. When you came out there, <laughs> you, could, you could tell you have to be the dancing done, to be the dancing experience in you now. What, what was that like when they came knocking? Was it like, definitely, that's something I want to do? Or did it take you take no, a bit of convincing? No, it, it genuinely took me a while because um, I, I just never even thought of it. And that's the truth. Yeah. I saw Des Cahill doing it the year before, and so we had great fun uh, with him. But I never thought, genuinely, talking about doing it myself. But anyway, uh, Larry Bass from Shinna Whale and Danson said, come on, do it. I would have to say, uh, Johnny, it was probably the best thing I ever did in the sense of an experience, in terms of laughter, in terms of making great friends. Uh, I hadn't a clue how to dance, really. I remember the first dance was a Joe Dolan. Me, oh my, yeah. you know that one? And I thought, I have this, I can jive, because we could, at least yeah. we could jive. And Ksenia was my partner, so I started doing this kind of thing, you know? And she said, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is a jive ballroom. Frame, frame. <gasps> I'll never forget it. Uh, but I really, to this day, I mean, it was amazing that all the children around Ireland had loved the dancing. I mm. mean, uh, genuinely, I must have gotten about uh, 200 letters a week from various schools saying they were voting for me. Wow. Uh, and it was just, there was a connection. And uh, it was one of the best things I ever did, to be honest with you. That's brilliant. If, if you're talking to Larry Bass, we're willing to dance with each other as well, Marty. You know? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make it and happen. You know, he would be brilliant on it. Wouldn't they be brilliant on Dancing with the Stars? Uh, I, I'd have to get the knee looked at. Marty, before we finish, before we finish, we're going to do a quick fire round with you. Okay. Um, so, real, real quick, whatever comes into the head. Okay, so you just answer as quick as you can. All right, here we go. Coppers or Flannery's? Mm, coppers. Sna Flannery's will be good now. Yeah, Fair Flannery's is good. A, a, a snack box or a pudding box? Snack box. Davy Fitz or Gerlach Nan? Davy Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be president of Ireland or win the lotto? What? Hold on, hold on. What does my darling say there in the front? President. We'll go for president. Marty for president. Lovely. I don't think so. 
Uh, on holidays, chilling by the pool or sightseeing? Hey, this is not chilling. questions and answers. <laughs> chilling by the pool. Yes, Marty. Rose buds or jacket buds? Rose buds. Oh, yes. The Rolling Stones or Foster and Allen? Foster and Allen. Mm -hmm. Elvis or Christy Moore? Christy Moore. Mm. Your celebrity crush? I have to say I love Jennifer Aniston. Whoa. Always have. A man after my own heart. Marty. My kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you have a nickname, Marty? What? A nickname. A nickname? No, not really. I don't think so. Marty. Marty. Yeah. Marty. Okay. Do you have any tattoos? Not that you can see. <laughs> <laughs> My man. Um, if you could have one superpower, Marty, what would it be? Pick a point. Pick a point. <laughs> 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 I'd even be happy if they gave me the bloody ball. Oh, don't encourage him that I'll be at it. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Marty, what do you think is the best thing about Ireland? The people. The people. Definitely. 100%. Um, your day to the All-Stars, Marty. Mary Black or Mary Kendi? That is a tough one. That's a tough one now. Because Mary, both of them are friends. I are I've always loved Mary Black, I have to admit. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, in a movie of your life, who would play you? George Clooney. <laughs> He looks like me, he talks like me, he walks like me. <laughs> so it must be Marty George Clooney. Okay. Um, the big one I'm going to go for here, Marty. Go on, Johnny. Hurling or football? Hurling. Hurling. Wow. wow. Without hesitation. Number one. Last question. Do you regret coming on this podcast? 100%. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give a big round of applause for the legend that is Marty Morrissey. There you go. Marty, thank you so much. Thank you.